Chapter 27 Do not boast about what you may do tomorrow, for you do not know what may come to pass in a day. Let another man praise you, but not your own mouth, a stranger's, but not your own lips. A stone is heavy and sand is weighty, but a fool's wrath is heavier to bear than both of them. Wrath is cruel and anger is overwhelming, but who is able to withstand envy, jealousy? Open rebuke is better than concealed love. Faithful are the wounds from a friend, but the kisses from an enemy are deceitful. The fully satisfied person disdains the honeycomb, but to the hungry person, every bitter thing is sweet. Like a bird that strays from its nest is a man who wanders from his home. Ointment and perfume delight the heart. So does the sweetness of a man's friend by his earnest counsel. Do not forsake your own friend, nor your father's friend. Do not go to your brother's house in the day of your trouble. Better is a neighbor who is near than a brother who is far away. My son, be wise and make my heart glad. Then I will be able to answer anyone who taunts me. A prudent, discerning, and cautious man sees trouble coming and takes refuge, while the simple go straight ahead and are punished. Take the garment of him who guarantees a loan for a stranger, and hold it in pledge if he does it for a strange woman. If a man blesses his friend with a loud voice early in the morning, awakening him, his friend will regard it as a curse. A constant dripping on a very rainy day, that is what a contentious woman is like. Trying to restrain her is like restraining the wind or grasping oil in your hand. Iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens the perception of his friend. Whoever tends the fig tree will eat its fruit. He who waits upon his owner will be honored. As a face is reflected in water, so a man's mind reflects the man. Sheol, the grave, and Abaddon, destruction, are never satisfied, and neither are the eyes of a man. Like the refining pot for silver and the furnace for gold, a man will be tested through the praise flattery he receives. Though you pound a fool in a mortar with a pestle, as you would to crush grain, you will not rid him of his foolishness. Be diligent to know the condition of your flocks and give careful attention to your herds. Because riches are not permanent and a crown is not secure through all generations. Then, when the hay has been cut and the second growth appears and the crops from the hillside are gathered in, the lambs will provide clothing for you. The goats will pay the price of a field. And you will have enough goat's milk for your food, for the food of your household, and the nourishment of your maidservants.